two monk jacks. Obviously, mum, and baby monk jack. Don't know if you can see them. They probably can't. One's gone to the right and disappeared. The other one's just gone to the left and completely disappeared. Um, yeah. They're incredible when you think about it. It said last time they're a fawn or brown colour. And as you can see, all the trees, apart from the tree trunks, are green. So you'd have thought they would have stood out like sore thumbs. I just see that little baby monk jack over the distance there. You probably didn't even see that on the film. And uh, <clears throat> you can obviously smell them. But what I do, the youngst youngsters, they keep still, very, very, very still. And they're uh, yeah, gone, vanished, completely vanished. Nothing here whatsoever. And uh, no one's going to go chasing after a monk jacket net now, are they? Not at all. This is the way to um, Under Acres Lake. As you can see, it's going to get all that filmy stuff on top. Not great for dogs, especially with dogs that trip over and they fall down the bank, eh? Hey? That's strange, isn't it? Two monk jacks. That's a mum and baby monk jack. I've uh, got a film on here somewhere. The mum calling out to the baby one. Uh, you can see where they've been. You see they've gone through there where all the weeds have been knocked down. So, fantastic stuff. Absolutely brilliant. We're going up around the, uh, the canal. We always call the River Lee. Which confuses people really because when we actually do go in the River Lee they go Oh, I thought it was a canal. I think it's like, I don't know. You've got two places with the same name. You go to the woods, you've got Bencroft Car Park. That's the first car park. And the second car park is called Bencroft. So, yeah, you do get it. Lee Valley Walk, directly in front of me, is... 65 yards, dog agility course, a quarter of a mile, which means I've already walked a quarter of a mile, so I've walked back to half a mile. So we'll probably do about a mile, I suppose, today. And uh, don't you play that way, blah, 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 blah. We'll worry about the railway station, they're on strike today. <laughs> Although, having said they're on strike, there's people on Chesham platform waiting for a train. So obviously it ain't no 20% like Monday. I think it's Monday. Uh, trains were running and uh, yeah good luck to them if you can give bankers a pay rise and you can't give skilled workers a pay rise then something's wrong then again RMT are not Boris's mates are they dear 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 what did I just say oh my god there's a few joggers out today and it's actually spitting it's supposed to be raining uh, weekend they said and today's Thursday, Thursday morning, it's about 10 past 8 in the morning, the 23rd I think, June. Not too sure to be honest with you, but um, yeah, it's pleasant, very pleasant. Uh, what can you say? Not a great deal. This is um, 100 Acres Lake, or a small part of it. And over the background there, who's building that very, very slowly during the coronavirus nonsense. And... Whatever happened to that coronavirus, they could cure it for the day because nobody wears masks anymore. I should be a politician, shouldn't I? And all the old birds parked up on the, on the sticks. Hotel Seagull, or Land Gold, shall I say? Yeah. Well, the flowers are out. I'm not sure how long this film's going to run for until I go, oh no, that's too long. Because Al says, nobody comments, no one comments, the films are too long. Then again, when I make them three, three, um, three four minutes long, people go and comment, so does it really matter? No. They do what they want, it doesn't matter, does it? I put one there for my benefit more than anyone else's. So over the months, over the years, I can see Max from a little boy to a big boy. Uh, 
see what he gets up to. That's his adventures of life. Uh, that's what I do. If people like it comments, they can. If they don't, what does it matter? Not really. I know it's 20 years time, people will look on there, so, cool, German Shepherd. Um, apparently only 17 people out of millions only like German Shepherds. What, what can you say? You can't go and say, right, you lot, come and like my site. I know people pay money for people to go on sites, but then again, those people don't even look at them. They're just numbers. So to say sake, you can't tell me my site's been running for five years and there's not a single member, and a new site comes up, been here six months, and it have got 20,000 members. No, it doesn't work that Not in a million years does it work out like that. Oh, look, Heron. <coughs> there's either a Heron or a Condor. I wonder if going to fly off. I don't mean got to stand here and watch him. Maybe, I don't know. See him? We can see him, of course I can see him. Great big thing. Like a great big pterodactyl sitting up there. <coughs> oh yeah. yeah. Last time I'd done this, I just walked past him and he flew away. And I thought, oh, I'll just show that, show that heron again. And he'd already gone. All right. Oh, look at that. Andrew, cheers. <laughs> they're like condor, aren't they? I think I'm not sure if they're the biggest wingspan bird in the country. I'm not sure if they're one of these eagles, like the fish eagles you get in now. I'm not sure if they're bigger. We get red kites around here. They're quite big, but not as big as these wingspan. They're huge. That's more of 100 Acres Lake. I don't even know what 100 Acres is. Is it as big as a park? Must be, or bigger. You can hear those in the distance, can't you? Parakeets. You can hear them, but you can't see them. Bright green, on a bright green background. Background, what's a background? Background, there you go. I got up late this morning, five past seven. Oh my god, I'm only up about half past six. That's the lake again. What we do, we'll see how we get on, and uh, we'll go with that film to those yellow flowers. Apparently, keep dogs away because some of the uh, sap can be toxic towards them. And uh, Al found that out and put it on My Name Is Max, which is on face ache. Looks uh, like someone's been down here with a machine cutting all the grass. Uh, we're just going over the lock. Somebody's stolen the sign. <laughs> because it, it used to say fear balls and give you a lock number. So if you got in trouble, you can phone the authorities and say, but lock number and location is. But now, you just say, I've broken down and I'm outside a lock. I go, well, what's the number then? I don't know, somebody's stolen it. And uh, that stinky old stuff, isn't it? Quite clear, this is a spill off. Absolutely ingenious how these locks work. You've got a river higher than the other side and lower the other, and somehow, they don't flood. You can hear, you can just hear the water running. And these ones are shut, so the river's gonna be higher. What are you doing, Mr. Crow? Some kind person has dumped all that rubbish over there. I mean, seriously, who that's not absolutely, completely, utterly retarded does something like that? Seriously, what is wrong with people? It really does make me so angry. You get all this beauty, and you've got one two-legged animal decides he can dump what he wants where he wants. Absolutely disgusting. Oh, I fell off a boat, did it? Yeah, okay. Help. There's a number 47, apparently. He's got 47 on the lock. 
This is where the sign used to be. Some kind person stole it. They don't fall off because they're riveted on. They're riveted on these posts. So uh, no, they don't fall off. They, they get vandalised and stolen. Again, great shame. You try and contact the Lee Valley authorities and you've got more chance of winning the lottery. We see a goose one day, a couple of years ago I think it might have been, at a bolt, that's not from a crossbow, straight through his neck. And it took me, especially Al, it took her absolutely days trying to get through to someone. And when you come over here, I remember this runs from Edmonton, it goes all the way down to Hoddesdon, probably further. It goes over to Epping. And there's no phone numbers. There's nobody to contact, which is absolutely surreal, really, when you think about it. And they can't get the staff, and they can't pay the wages. If you believe that, you believe anything. A lot of these people are volunteers. A lot of these lilies are coming out now. Loads and loads and loads of lilies. Where are you off to? Oh dear. Oh, oh. oh. Only three steps. Feels like 300 sometimes. Right. This is the way we go. Sometimes, not always, we bump into a little golden retriever. Skittish little thing. Oh, so are these pears. Okay. These are not what I call edible pears. Because they're small, they're always small, they look ripe, but they're um, rock hard, absolutely rock hard. All the apples over there as well. Now, as a rule of thumb, as they say, when these get to the stage of being delicious, all these ones at the bottom strangely disappear. <laughs> and all you get is ones at the top where you can't reach them, and the bottom's normally surrounded by stinging nettles. Loads of apple trees over here. Uh, cherry trees, I haven't come across one out of the hundreds of cherry trees over here that are actually edible. Even the bright red ones are bitter, very bitter. So, not too sure why somebody would take bitter cherries to work with them. I'm sure something's gone pear shape. There's a reason why they're bitter, not sweet. Blackberries, going to be a bump a year this year. Bump a year, bump a crop, should I say. And uh, they grow everywhere as well. But again, they go up towards the sunlight. And all the ones at the top, huge, jet black, juicy. Um, ones at the bottom, reddish colour, aren't they? And they're okay, but not as nice as ones at the top. Great for making wine. Lovely jubbly. It's all those yellow flowers. Been watching this day by day, week by week, and uh, they're all open. Some have actually gone over. Hey, these ones here are all finishing. These ones here have just opened. Hey. Nice looking flowers. They've gone in Cedars Park. It's a different variety, apparently. And uh, there's one there just finishing. And uh, same colour, looks the same, but it's like in the shape of a bush, big bush, rather than ground cover. So, stick with me guys, get an education. <laughs> you lucky. Right, Mr Max, sounds like a small horse going past. Da -dum -da -dum -da -dum -da -dum. Hi ho, Maximus! Yeah. This is the um, enclosure for the orchids. Wild or furious, whatever you want to call them, orchids. None this year, absolutely none. And it says June, July, August. Might be later in the year. But we're, well, more than halfway through June, believe it or not. We're actually coming up to July. It's Al's birthday on the 25th. Should be 21, again. Uh, um, happy birthday, Al, for Saturday. You don't look a day over, 
Anyway, we're gonna go through here. Next to us. He's decided he wants to go the other way. Uh, I know for a fact, he likes being in front. As soon as he notices I've gone, he goes, oh, where's my dad gone? You hear him? Dum, 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 dum. I thought you said you was going the other way. Apparently not. I was saying they can't cut that down because if there's any orchids coming up, they obviously kill the orchids. And that pink thing down there, oh, I probably can't zoom in anyway. Uh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Yellow one. Aha! Yeah, that pink thing there, that's a weed. So that's not an orchid. So there's none. Absolutely no orchids over here this year whatsoever. Last year, I think there was two, possibly three orchids. This year, if I remember rightly, one came up early through the floorboards here. And that's vanished. That's gone. So we well, see one out of the whole lot, out of all this room, I'll put it down to none. Because you'd have thought they had more than just one coming through the boards. That's what I think anyway. Oh, steady! Nearly knocked me over, you dog. Oh, he's like a tank, isn't he? Out of the way, out of the way. I'm first, I'm first. Yeah. Wouldn't be so bad if like, a squirrel was going to jump out on me. You can protect me. He just wants being in front. Right. I'm not sure this is going to be a record film. I'm not too sure at all. But, um, no, 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 no. Away, away. It's all muddy down there. Well, it was. Get out of there. Come on. Oh, that's your P mail behind, have you? There's email, dog is P mail. Yeah, it's like I say, you've got all this. All the irises are all finished. That's those yellow ones. I thought it was lilies, yellow. Pretty looking things. About three foot tall. Grown so many different places. And they all said, no, they're, they're like a water lily. Iris, sorry, iris. Uh, all those tall green stems. As you can see, they're all finished. Don't last very long, do they? Oh, this is now grass. Not a single, single, single orchid in sight. Yet the environment for her here is supposed to be ideal. That's why they cornered it all off, fenced it all off, put these walkways in. Because you had orchids growing here on a regular basis. And last year, virtually none. This year, none. And uh, you see a footpath going through there. So somebody's obviously using it. You don't get footpaths for the sake of it, do you? You get footpaths because people are using them. And have a quick look at this before I turn it off. And uh, so I say they're orchids, what it's supposed to look like, what I showed you the purple little things, they're weeds. That's the artist's impression, and uh, as you can clearly see, nothing like it whatsoever. So he must have painted that when he came out of a pub. That's my that's my theory. Orchid discovery trail. Yeah, okay. I say there's no nothing here. Further information about the orchids. There you go. Stubbs Lane, Crooked Mile, blah, 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 and that's it. If you need a ranger, you've got no chance. They put you through one person to another person to another person. There is no direct phone number if you get in trouble in the Lee Valley, which I find is absolutely unacceptable. What can you do? Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. And where are you off to? Yeah, you. These make good wine. I'm going to go black, get an afro comb, you get them off easier, crush them all up, extract all the juice. You need about four litres of it though. And uh, you'll get a gallon, maybe even two gallons out of it. Very, very tasty. It can be a little bit dry. Uh, very nice though. Right then, so we will bid you all farewell. 
Hope you enjoyed the other day. We are actually over to see this park in the afternoon. Whoa, that's his second walk of the day. Very rare he goes out twice a day other than just five minutes around the block. Very rare. My legs don't go that far. So, yeah. Here we are again. What can you say? What do you think, Max? Yeah, say bye-bye. Okay then, fair enough. As if. Take care, guys. Bye.